Hey, Jitsquad, welcome back to the episode of Is It Worth It? So today's episode, we got this cool amazing runner here, and basically what this is, is the wireless Bluetooth speaker. If you can see, the one that we got right here is a brand called Soundcore, which is under the Anchor brand. And right here is basically what they call the product, which is Motion Boom Plus. So if you guys remember in the past, I actually viewed another speaker from this brand, or multiple speakers from this brand, but there is one of them that's called the Motion Boom, whereas this one is called the Motion Boom Plus. So it's supposed to be like an upgraded version of the Motion Boom. But there's a lot of things about the speaker that works the same way as that one, such as the fact that it's wireless, it gives you guys the Bluetooth option, and also the pilot is waterproof, so even if you guys get water on here, it should be fine. But right here on the bottom, if you haven't seen it, do probably got some of the specs and features that's on here. And if you guys turn to the back, they also probably got some more specs and features that's on here as well. But first, I'm actually open this up to show you guys what the inside looks like first. All right, so when you guys first open up, here's what actually it looks like inside. Let's take everything out. So first thing inside right here, if you guys open up, Inside they do probably guys a user manual and like a warranty card as well to teach you guys how to use it. And right here they probably guys a USB-C to USB-C cable. So you definitely use that to recharge the product. And they start right here. They basically provide guys a high quality strap that's adjustable so that we can strap it onto a speaker. And last but not least, we do have the actual speaker. So let's take it out. Alright. So once you guys take it out, and you see the product is actually very big. It's actually much bigger than the previous version, which is the motion boom. But right here, you see we do have the front part of the speaker. So you definitely see like the drivers and everything else inside. Right here in front, we do have the brand logo. Top part right here, we do have a very nice handle for you to carry around. And right here on the side, they do give you guys the option to put on the strap. And I will show you guys what it looks like in a second. Top part right here, we also have the brand logo. And right underneath that, you see we do have the different button. So we do have a base up button, a Bluetooth button. We have a plus and minus button. And the middle is probably like the play and pause button. Right here, we do have a power button. And right here, we do have the party cast button if you guys want to use that option. And we guys turn to the side, right here, we do have the base option. Same thing for our side right here. And we guys turn to the back. They do have the brand logo in the back. And right here, they do have a little cover to protect like the cable option, etc. So we guys do open up. That is what the inside looks like. So they basically give you guys a USB-C output option for you to plug in the cable to recharge it. And the middle part right here, we do have a USB option that you can use to charge your device like a power bank if you guys want to. And right here, we do have an aux option if you guys want to connect it onto something else, maybe like your phone or computer or something. But once you guys finish using this part right here, you have to make sure to fully seal it up. So that way none of the water can get in. And right here is basically what the bottom part looks like. So you see in the bottom right here, we do have like a non-slip material and non-scratch material as well. And if you guys notice, they do have a little cover on here. So when you guys are ready to use it, you guys want to peel this part out. So that way the product can start working in the bottom. Because right now, if you guys don't peel this part out, they will not start working. But that is basically everything that's on the bottom. Before I just test it out, let's put on the strap to show you guys what it looks like first. So for the strap, all you're gonna do is go like this. And then same thing for the other side. And it doesn't matter which side you guys put it on because the part right here is actually rotatable. So once you guys put it on the strap, here is basically what the product looks like. So if you guys do put it on yourself, this is basically what the product looks like once you guys do put it on. And like I mentioned for the strap, it is adjustable. So if you guys want to make it longer or shorter, you definitely can. Just pull this part right here. That way you can make it longer or shorter. So you see how much longer it got after we adjust it. And if you guys want to make it shorter, you definitely can as well. So just go like this. And now it's much shorter, you can see. So very easy and very simple for your set of the strap option. And like I mentioned, you do have the option to carry around like this if you guys do want to as well. And when you guys feel the overall weight of the product, it's not that heavy. So that actually makes it a lot easier for you to carry around if you guys do need to. But now let's plug in the cable to show you guys how to charge it first before you test it out. So first thing you want to do is open the back part. And you guys want to plug in the cable in the back. Once you guys plug it in, if you guys notice in the fan part here, it does light up red. And that is how you guys know when it's charging. I'm assuming once it turns off or it changes a different color to like green or something, then that means fully charged. So that is how you guys charge the product. Now let's try the USB option to see when it actually works as a power bank option. All right, so if you guys plug in the cable in the back, and the other side, we'll plug it onto our phone. But before we actually plug into our phone, we need to turn it on first, because if you guys don't turn it on, there's no power. So basically, I want to press the power button, turn it on. All right, so we got it on. Now let's plug it into our phone. All right, so as you see, it definitely does work. So definitely really cool how the product not only works as a Bluetooth speaker, but also works as a power bank as well, which is very similar to a lot of other speakers from this brand. And obviously when you guys have it connected onto your phone, you guys can definitely still use the speaker as well. So I'm actually connected onto my phone to play a song to see how it works. All 
right? So in here, from that quick little test, you can definitely hear how good the audio and the bass is on here. I feel like the bass up technology that's on here is actually really powerful if you guys just heard. Especially if I had to compare this to any other speaker that we tested so far. This is probably one of the best ones from the Anchor Soundcore brand. And I'm assuming because the way how they designed the product is much bigger, so it actually give you guys a lot more space to put like the radiator, the drivers, or whatever else is in here. But as I mentioned for the button right here, you do have the option to increase or lower the volume, play and pause the music, skip the song, or go back to the previous song. And right here, we do have like, the bass up technology and the Bluetooth button. So let's try to use the button on here without the actual phone to show you guys what she looks like. Alright, so that is basically how you guys play or pause the music and increase or lower the volume. And if you guys want to skip this song or go back to the previous song, you guys want to push the play button two times or three times, so just like this. And then three to go back. And when you guys receive a call, you basically want to press on the same button one or two times. One time to answer, and you're going to press and hold it for two seconds if you guys want to cancel the call. But if you guys don't have any call, and if you guys want to activate like the white assistant, you basically want to press and hold the middle button right here. Alright. So that is basically how you guys activate the voice assistant if you guys need to. And if you guys want to use the TWS mode to connect it onto two speaker, you basically want to press and hold the Bluetooth button for two seconds, and that will allow you guys to pair the two of the same speaker if you guys do need to. But that is basically everything that's on the product. Now that we come boxing and testing the product, now to answer the question of whether or not that's worth or not. So for this product, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want to need one of these, especially if you guys are trying to look for a high quality boom box speaker that's super compact and portable like the one that we have right here and give you guys everything like I mentioned that I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. <laughs> but then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.